Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby if you didn't know, now you know. Today we are doing a full get ready with me from start to finish. We're gonna do hair, makeup, and I'm gonna take you through how I like style outfits and kind of do a little mini fashion show of a whole bunch of different outfits and like how I put outfits together and everything. I've been so into fashion and styling outfits lately. I think it's all thanks to TikTok because there's just so many cool like styles going on right now and i know there's always like so many styles but i don't know i feel like tiktok is given like a platform for so many people with different fashion senses to like come forward and kind of show off their style and i'm loving it and i love getting to like try out the different styles on me finding out which one i like best all that and i've gotten so many questions to like kind of take you guys through the process of how i style outfits so we are going to do that today so this is the beginning my hair is not the best this is how i woke up my skin is breaking out slightly just being real with you guys this video is sponsored by dime beauty i'm gonna go into that a little bit more their products are awesome and a huge part of glowing up so they're definitely included in this but just want to start this video of the the, the starting point looking really good so step one is gonna be i'm just gonna wash my face just so we start with a nice clean palette to work with I must say, I am very bad at skincare. I have like really sensitive skin, so a lot of the times I'll use something for a while and then randomly my skin will break out more from it and then I get nervous and I stop using it and then I just stop using anything on my skin and I'm like, that's definitely probably not the way to go. So I want to find an actual skincare routine that works for me, but for right now, I'm just gonna use what I have and just kind of cleanse my skin and making sure that I get everything off. So step number one, and I'll see you when that's done. All right, just cleaned my face, cleaned up my eyebrows a little bit too. The, there was a little stray hairs that needed fixed. And now we're gonna go in with the rest of my routine. So we're gonna start with some of my favorite Dime Beauty products right now. And I just love the packaging is 100% made from recycled items. So it is 100% biodegradable, which is just so important in nowadays. So I love that they take that extra step to make sure even just with their packaging. But it doesn't just stop there because all their products are vegan, sulfate-free, paraben-free, cruelty-free, and sustainable. So I'm gonna start with the Hyper Glow Serum, which is an antioxidant, and I'm just gonna apply some drops to my face. You do this after your face is already cleansed. And I love, especially now that it's starting to get into like, quote, fall, even though Florida is not in fall, I love still like maintaining that summer glow look. So I love the Glow Serums. Just kind of have that like, dewy look the dewy day cream helps to replenish the skin it helps to promote new collagen and helps to just kind of keep the skin firm all right so this is technically the first step of my makeup routine where the rest i would consider like skincare but i always start with a moisturizer instead of a primer i just feel like especially because i'm out in the sun a lot my skin is always pretty dry and i just feel like it needs like hydrated and just moisturized before i put a, like a layer of product on so i'm going in with the dewy day cream and i'm just gonna rub that all over my face and my neck and i must say this is one of those where like a little bit of product goes a long way because it is so like i don't even know the word to use but it is like the most moisturizing product i've ever used and i also have their super eye duo which consists of a lash serum and a volume mascara so the lash serum does not only work on the lashes but you can also use it on your eyebrows and you can just apply this nightly and it's just a serum that helps the hair follicles on your eyelashes and your eyebrows grow stronger so they have a longer lifespan and the volume mascara also helps to strengthen out the hair follicles on the eyelashes while also obviously giving the volume and the length that you desire. But they're also hooking you guys up with a 20% off discount. So make sure to use my code Gabby20. I'm going to have everything on the screen. Again, check it down below. It's all going to be linked in the description. And let's do our makeup. All right, so like I said, first step is always moisturizer. I always find that my makeup just sets a lot better when my skin is moisturized and not as dry. And I, for like my everyday makeup look, I don't really like to use foundation. I don't like to feel like I have so much product on my skin. So I'm just going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And even this, I'm doing like barely any. I'm going to do a little bit under my eyes, a little bit up here, and some right there. And then I'm just going to take my Real Techniques, Real Techniques sponge. I it's damp I just went to wet it and then I'm just gonna blend that in up a little bit once that's all blended in I just feel like my skin is a lot more even I go in to set the concealer I'm just using Maybelline fit me powder and I just put that literally all over my entire face <laughs> and then I'm just using this big fluffy brush that I'm pretty sure is from Amazon uh, it's nothing special 
Now that that's set, our face is very flat right now. There's no dimension to it. It's all just kind of like bleh. And honestly, my body is a lot tanner than my face because the concealer is obviously a lighter shade. So now we're going to go in with some bronzer. Now, unfortunately, the bronzer I like to use looks like this currently. We're going to try to save it. See if I have enough product to actually use as a bronzer and also try to not make a mess in the process considering there's just little pieces everywhere. And I just take that into the cheekbones. I go up through the forehead, add some dimension into the forehead as well as down in the jawline. Next up, we are going to add a ton of blush to the cheeks. I love just the look of blush. I feel like it just makes it kind of like a little bit more girly and I feel like it's also another like trend right now just to add a ton of blush to the cheeks. So we're gonna do that, bring some color back to our skin and I just like it because it kind of gives you that like sun kiss look which is honestly one of my favorite things ever when you get like the slightest little bit of rosy cheeks from like being at the beach all day even though wear sunscreen, it's good for your skin and it just keeps you safe. But you know what I'm talking about, that little like sun kiss look, my favorite. And even though we're going into fall, I want to make it feel like I'm still that like summer glow, like I mentioned. So I'm just using a Tarte party one. Pretty sure this I got free for my birthday from Ulta or something. So the next step I like to do is go in with a highlighter I'm using from Ofra. I don't know the shade at all, but it's this one right here. Actually, it says the shade right here. Okay, but which one's which? Star Island? I think I'm just going to put that on the cheekbones. Look like a little glazed donut. Ooh, look at that glow. I also do a little bit on the tip of my nose on the cupid's bow. Then I go in with just my finger and do the brow bone. Next up is brows. I don't trust myself to fill them in, but I do like more of the kind of like feathery kind of brow instead of just like slicked back. So I'm just going with NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. And I just like to brush these like up more. And that's all. I also just put that all over my hair. But see the difference? Like this one is just a lot more feathery. I love that. I like to keep my eyes very, very, very natural. So I'm just going in first with like a light brown, just like all over the lid. And then I go in with this slight like orangey brown like a very little bit and just do that in the crease. Honestly, half the time I just use my bronzer. Actually, most of the time I use my bronzer, but like we saw, my bronzer is not very alive right now. So we're just gonna use this one. I've been loving doing a little winged eyeliner, but not using eyeliner, using more of like a black eyeshadow. But I like to do my mascara first. That way I have something to kind of go off of so I can just follow that like last little wing of my mascara to do the eyeliner. There's a hack right there for you. So I'm gonna start by just curling my lashes first. All right, now I'm going in with my Dime Volume Mascara. And I just start at the root and then work my way up, do a little like shaky shaky thing and just make sure it gets all over the eyelashes. So now, like I said, I like to do a kind of like smudged eyeliner look and I just use this flat brush. And honestly, I'm using my Top Gun makeup palette because I don't think I have a black anywhere else. So I am just going in with the black shade like very, very lightly. I don't want this to be dramatic at all. Tapping it off and then I just follow the wing of like this liner of mascara and just kind of like Like literally just do that and then fill in the line just so it kind of gives me a little bit more of I don't even know the word I'm looking for Just makes me look a little bit more put together like I put a little bit more effort in today Also definitely makes me feel like an insta baddie. I uh, Big fan of it. Now the only thing left is to just kind of set it in place and that's honestly my completed Not so everyday everyday makeup look so this is 100% inspired by the hair that Emma Chamberlain wore actually in her collab with James Charles and she had the little like just like half up half down pigtails and I thought it was so cute so we're gonna straighten our hair fully I don't know if I'm gonna leave like bang pieces out and then do the pigtails 
yes i think i like that so i think that's what we're gonna do but we're gonna start with straight hair although i've also been loving curly hair lately i feel like i go through phases but right now i just love both i like i said i've just been loving getting ready which is so weird for me because i am the girl that i didn't wear makeup in high school didn't wear makeup in college if you saw what i wore in college i straight up rolled out of bed and went to class every day but like now that i don't have anything to do no one to impress is when I like to just get ready, but it just makes me feel so good about myself. So that's fine. If it makes me happy, I'm going to do it. Okay, my hair is all completely straight. We're not going to do the pigtails right now because I actually want to style a few outfits with different hairstyles just to give you guys some like inspo for different outfits I've been loving lately, different kind of styles. But first, I just want to say these things, cut them myself. Um, I'm obsessed with them. I feel like they like spice up any hairstyle You'll see later on when I wear the different like hair scarves the headbands You can just even just pull like a ponytail back and just having these It just makes it so much better. Um, if any hairstylists are watching mine specifically I'm sorry for cutting my own hair, but I'm pretty proud of the job I did and let's go style some outfits so my tips and tricks to styling outfits is honestly just getting inspo from everywhere and everyone. So I'm going to insert my Pinterest board right here and then my saved outfit inspo Instagram screenshot right here. So I love the save feature on Instagram because like there's no better way to get inspiration than just scrolling through your feed and you know when you're like they look hot. You can look hot too. Save that picture for outfit inspo next time you go shopping or I guarantee like the trend right now is to just style basics. So you probably have so many of those items already in your closet. You just never thought of putting them together. So I love doing that. That is like my tips and tricks to everything. So every time I go to get ready, I literally scroll through my Instagram, save pictures, go to my Pinterest and it just saves my life. So we're going to go to my closet now. I think I'm going to do like a street style outfit, a little bit more of a dressy outfit and then like a basics outfit and we'll go for there. Okay, outfit number one, I'm gonna have as much as these linked down below, but I know like this shirt is from Windsor and it's pretty old. So maybe I'll try to find a similar one from like Urban or somewhere, but shirt is from Windsor. These ripped jeans that are a little bit baggier. They're not like completely mom jeans, but you'll see how they fit when I try them on. These are from Revolve and then just a black bandana, which I never thought I was a bandana girl. And then this was 100% inspired by, I think her name is literally like Anna Bandana on TikTok or something. And I was like, she looks so good. So I randomly just did it once and I was like, hey, I look kind of good too. Like you just literally have to go out of your comfort zone and try it. And I guarantee you, you can pull off so many more styles than you think you can. All right, for our girly girl outfit, we have this skirt from Princess Polly. I wish I had, I'm going to insert a picture right here of exactly what I'm talking about. But I wish I had the like flowy tennis skirt with a collared shirt and a sweater over top. I'm obsessed with that outfit style, which is so unlike me. But I think it is so cute and it's so trendy right now. But I don't have one. So we're just going to go with this skirt. Then I have two tank top options. This one is honestly like an athletic shirt from Girlfriend Collective. But I love the way it fits. And then this one is just a basic. Honestly, I think it's from like Zaful. But I have them both out. I'm going to try them on with the outfit and decide which one looks better. And then along the same vibe of like the collared shirt, I feel like this is very stylish right now. It's kind of that like old school, almost like varsity looking. I don't know how to describe it, but I love this shirt. So for my just like basic outfit, I just have this with a pair of high-waisted jeans. And this is making me want to buy a pair of high top Jordans so bad because I feel like with almost all of these outfits, they would look so good. I've wanted them for a while, but I was like, I'm not going to wear them. My issue is I don't have a pair of jeans that fit that like loose kind of fit exactly how I want them to. So that was the only thing that was kind of holding me back. But now that I'm looking at all these outfits and just like the trends right now, I think I could rock them. And I also just want to get this message across. You can pull off literally any style as long as you're confident in it. Like if you think you look weird and you just like look in the mirror and like don't, uh, -uh you can pull off any style. It's not like specific. You have to have a specific look to pull off a specific style. Uh, uh, girl, you just have to have confidence. You gotta rock it and you can literally wear anything. So I also think I might wear, so with this outfit, I'm gonna do the pigtails. This one has the bandana. I might, I don't know. We'll figure out what we're going to do with our hair for that. But another thing I want to talk about to help style outfits is hair scarves. I just got a huge pack from Amazon. I'll just have these linked down below as well. But these are like my favorite accessory right now. So I just take, do I have one folded already? Okay, so this one's folded. Obviously it doesn't match. And it kind of matches what I have on right now. 
but okay i'm folding it like very very loosely but i just take these bang pieces leave them down just like bring these back so they don't get in the way fold up the headband and just tie it and then let these hairs down Throw on a pair of hoops, another thing, another like accessory I'm loving is just hoops and necklaces. So trendy, like the layered necklaces. I kind of want to get one that says like 1998. I feel like the year you were born is very like trendy style right now. But like, look how cute this is. Makes me totally feel like I'm in Gossip Girl with the headband trend. So I'm so glad those are coming back. But just these little like pieces out, I just, I don't know, I love it. I think it's such a fun style. All right, and here is outfit number one, the street style. So I like to just kind of bring the shirt like more in front. You can obviously leave it like all the way down. I know that's also like stylish, but I like to bring it more in front. The outfit in the bandana definitely makes me feel a lot more hardcore. So to try to bring the girly side back out of me a little bit, I always add hoops. You can layer necklaces, accessorize however you want. But I think this is one, so fun. I love the like hardcore street style look and two, so comfortable. Like I'm wearing a t-shirt and jeans, like baggy jeans too. I love this look. It was definitely out of my comfort zone at first, like a lot out of my comfort zone. And I've been wearing it a lot lately. I really like it. And here is outfit number two, more of the girly girl look. But what I love is I paired it with the actual workout tank. And because of that, I feel like, I mean, we all know I'm not the biggest girly girl like at all no matter how badly i wish i was sometimes but i love that by pairing just such a basic and more like less of a girly top with a skirt it just kind of makes the outfit so casual and then i paired it with these glasses from amazon which are totally giving me like all the 2000s vibes pretty sure i owned these when i was like five but i think this outfit is so cute i also think this would be like so so cute with the pigtails as well just kind of like add a little spice. It will really just bring out the 2000s in you. But I think this is such a fun outfit and I'm a huge sneaker girl. I like to wear sneakers with everything. So by making the skirt more casual with this, I could totally wear this outfit with sneakers. Then I'm way more likely to wear it. But I love this. I think it's so cute. I really want to get the flowy skirt though. Those outfits are like to die for right now. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully I can make that happen. And here is the last outfit. I love the piggies and the little like collar on the shirt. I think this is so fun and so cute. And like this took maybe two minutes and I feel like it just is a completely different look than just leaving my hair down. I'm obsessed with this. So I have two more accessories that you could easily spice this outfit up with. These like cat eye glasses automatically just make you look 10 times cooler than you really are just by putting those on like Another trend is the like small bag trend. I wish I had, I think it's all kind of modeled after like Prada being very in right now. The little like Prada like shoulder bags, obviously don't have one of those. I do have this fanny pack from Princess Polly. I don't know if I'd necessarily wear it. Actually it looks really cute with this shirt, but I'm gonna insert a picture right here when I wore both of these accessories and the pigtail hairstyle on my Instagram. But I think just the fanny pack around the body, if you're, especially if you're wearing like a basic white or just any color, just like basic tank, totally just spices it up. This is so fun. Like I'm having so much fun putting outfits together. So this is gonna be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this. I feel like this was a really fun video. Very like, I just kind of took you through every step that I go through normally on a daily basis of getting ready and putting outfits together. But I hope this inspires you to go out of your comfort zone a little bit Try on some new styles you wouldn't normally do that you see on TikTok and you're like, that girl looks hot. You could look hot too. You just got to do it and pull it off and know that you're pulling it off and have full confidence in it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little different, but it was so much fun. I want to thank Dime Beauty again for working with me on this video. My skin still is glowing, looking dewy, and it just feels so nice. So make sure to check them out. Again, use Gabby20 for 20% off. Everything's linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a big like, comment down below, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, all that. 
let me know if you want more of these if this was fun i could totally style different outfits or like send me like trendy styles you want me to try out that would be fun so leave those down below if there's like a certain style or vibe that you want me to try out that'd be fun so with that being said i'll see you in the next video